All right, guys, I was really on the edge about whether to actually make this video because it would be completely unedited. I'm literally on my lunch break and I wanted to cover basically a few things in this video. One, which was which came ended up being from a, uh, a guy who tweeted at me and it was really annoying, really, really annoying. He was basically saying, how can you say that Swift will affect XRP? Swift is just a messaging service. Um, and he said a few explicit words in there as well. It really annoyed me because he was on the right track. Like his answer was partly right, but he hasn't obviously gone through the, the research. And so I'll answer that question for everyone here. And then also as a result of that, what came as a result of that and so many different tweets was basically an update to the ISO schedule that I wanted to share here. So this is completely unedited. I'm on my lunch break, just gonna upload it after I'm done. So first things first, I'm gonna be looking down because I've got my notepad here. So I've been writing things down as they've gone on throughout the day while I could in between work, right? <laughs> so bear with me. So the first thing we hear is that the European Central Bank and ISO uh, and SWIFT were going to delay until March. And that seemed a bit funny because there was a few lines in those documents that suggested that people could opt in beforehand. Now, that was kind of speculation um, but I did realize that, or I found on the Swift website, there was a list of companies, uh, banks on there, that basically had all the codes, all the messaging codes ready to go for the new ISO system. And so I deducted from that that they would actually be ready, certain banks would actually be ready in March, uh, in November, sorry. See, I would have edited that out, but I can't. They would have been ready in November. And, and that the March delay was essentially just a, a ploy to get people to despair more, maybe. I don't know what the plan was there, but they basically want to catch, catch, us, catch us out unexpectedly. Um, and so I get this tweet of the guy saying, "How? why are you getting excited about, about XRP and Swift? They're not the same thing. They're very different. Um, there's no connection whatsoever. So, of course, I sent him through the links where you see that Ripple are actually on the board of advisors for, uh, uh, as a member, for the ISO uh, standard, right? So, it's it's all there. I sent him the documentation. Um, but essentially, first question I want to cover is why do we get excited about the ISO 222 update and why do we get excited in relation to XRP's price? Because, yes, I understand, and I know there's people who in here who maybe haven't done the research, don't know what Swift does, and the ISO update. They didn't know about any of this, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it briefly because I've talked about it in previous videos. Basically, when you're sending a payment, you have to send first a message. And that message is comes in relation to the, the account it's going to, the amount that's being transferred. All of that information comes in a message before the actual money is moved. And so Swift is the company that operates that messaging layer. So of course, the Swift update to ISO 222 isn't directly related to XRP, but here's why the XRP price would actually go up in that instance. So you have the, the new messaging standard. This new messaging standard actually includes the addition of well, data rich information, so more information. And part of that is information regarding a cryptocurrency or a blockchain payment. Now. If you're taking a blockchain payment and using the messaging system to be able to take that uh, cryptocurrency, um, you have to be able to have a transactional currency to be able to do that. And more, even more specifically, you need a transactional currency that's quick, fast, that was the same thing, safe, reliable, but they also need to have a, a, a liquidity functionality to be able to do all of these transactions, right? It actually has to be liquidity rooted. Now, there are only two liquidity rooted blockchains or systems in this area, right? In blockchain. That is XRP or Ripple and Stellar Lumens or X XLM. There's only two, okay? So if we're looking at the ISO standard and the new standard that's coming in with more cryptocurrency data attached, yes, any payment from any blockchain can come in, right? I understand why he was saying it's not XRP, it could be any blockchain. 
it is any any blockchain that can integrate with that standard but if you actually want to have the transfer of money and the value actually needs to move you need a liquidity based token that's agnostic which means it doesn't matter which country it's from there's only xrp and xlm right so if the new iso system comes in which allows for blockchain payments and it has to use xlm or x x xrp and xlm to be able to process those payments the price for the xrp has to go up and the price for the xrp has to go up because in order for xrp to operate and for xlm to operate the way it's supposed to operate the price has to be high and i've talked about that in previous videos so that's why we're getting excited about this new iso update um because it does directly hopefully directly impact the price of xrp now I received a screenshot today. The first one I received, I'm looking down here, was a guy in the Discord, so thank you very much to you, who sent a screenshot of a, an email, I think an internal email that they send you through the bank, online banking, basically updating him that the Standard Bank, his bank in South Africa, will be undergoing an update to their system, ending on November the 20th at 11.59 p.m. Why is this significant? Well, it's significant because the, the go live date, the original go live date for the new ISO system was the 21st of November. And they are telling him that there's gonna be an update to the system at 11.59 on the 20th, a minute before the original date for the Swift update. I find that interesting, right? Because I made a video previously talking about all the countries that are, all the banks and the countries that are ready to go. Um, and they're ready to go regardless of this delay, right? So it, it makes me think, why would you delay if it's actually gonna save you so much more money to just go live in November? And the European Central Bank and um, SWIFT all acknowledged basically that most people were ready but they're going to delay so everyone else can catch up. Um, and also, they said that there's an opt-in, op they could opt-in to use and get and take the benefits of the data-rich information, which makes me think November's always been the go-live date, right? But the deadline for go-live is March. Okay, so everyone who's ready is going to be ready and they're going to go earlier. So then that caused a waterfall of other people screenshotting their bank's messages who all said to them, these banks are gonna go, uh, these banks are all ready to go. Uh, and, uh, sorry, I'm gonna start again. I got a screen, a whole load of screenshots from people from their banks of their banks saying, we're gonna have this maintenance, basically the exact same thing as that South African bank, Standard Bank, saying we're gonna have this update to our system, it's maintenance, um, so and on one occasion it said non-regular maintenance update right on one of these banks basically the seconds or maybe the day of that november 21st around the november 21st november 22nd for a few of them and november 20th at 11 59 for a few of them as well this cannot be a coincidence right these are banks that on my list of banks that i suspected would be ready they're also appearing on this list sending messages to their customers saying, you know, um, we're doing this update, everything's gonna be down for a, for a few minutes while we update to this new system. Um, and so that gets really exciting, right? And my mind was kind of thinking, okay, maybe March, maybe we'll see some action in March. But now that I'm seeing all of this, they're literally, they're not, they don't care about March, these ones. These banks don't care about March. It's November the 21st is the date, <laughs> right? And so I'm gonna read out a list of banks where they have sent messages to their customers saying that there's gonna be this maintenance uh, that's happening on the 21st of November. Literally all of them across the board saying the same thing. And I'm gonna do my best not to butcher the pronunciation of some of these as well. So as you know, we've got Standard Bank from South Africa. We got Societe Generale, something like that for France. We've got CIC Bank in France as well. We've got Starling Bank in the UK, NatWest in the UK, Co-op Bank, uh, RBS, Lloyds and Bank of Scotland all in the UK. We've got a bank in Austria, can't remember the name. We've got Jönsparebank 
in Norway, which is part of the ICA group. So you can imagine all of the ICA group is going to be going live with this as well. Um, you've got Haifeisen in Germany. You've got Combank in Australia. You've got Unicredit in... I can't see where that's from. Unicredit anyway. And we've got Deutsche Bank and Bank of England. So Deutsche Bank in Germany. Now, most of those overlap with the list I made previously, suspecting that they're going to go live um, in, in November. This list that I just gave you is by no means the end of the list, right? There's, there's so many more that, that people have that they just haven't shown me on Twitter, right? These are the only ones I've been tagged in on Twitter. And these are all banks that are ready to go and are announcing to their customers via a message that they're going to be doing an update, a maintenance update, changing the system. There's a whole range of messaging, but it's just all essentially on the same date, the 21st of November, the original suspected date for that transfer. <sighs> so are we going to, ex do we expect for the price to, to move for XRP on the 21st of November? Well, the only time it will move is when actual value is being transferred. Now, will value actually be transferred on the go live date? This is something that I cannot answer and will continue to be a question until that date comes, right? Until we can actually see the volumes going up in the payments using on-demand liquidity, we can't know actually how this uh, new messaging system will affect the price, but logically thinking, if XRP needs to be a high price to be able to function and the ISO update includes blockchain payments as the enriched data that can be attached to that message, so then blockchain payments can now be sent through a swift message and you need a liquidity-based token to be able to do so, it makes sense logically that the price of XRP goes up as a result of that increased volume. That's, that's where you connect all the dots there. And so we can't know if the price is going to pump on the 21st, but it makes sense for it to if these banks really do start using the, the new SWIFT system, the new ISO system on the 21st after their updates that they're going to be taking place. So I know it's an inconclusive video. I, can't, I haven't given you the answer, but logically it makes sense. Um, and it just shows, it really just shows that when you see something small written at the bottom of a document, even if it's by the European Central Bank or SWIFT themselves, sorry, that's the window wiper. Um, don't pay attention to the details. If they say there's an opt-in service, that means it's not delayed until March, right? It means there's an opt-in service from November and that list of banks may just be that list of companies that are going to do the of banks that are going to do the opt-in majorly i think that's majorly bullish we just have to see how the price reacts to that and so i was going to separate that into two videos but i didn't i'm delaying the video that was going to come out today i'll delay that for friday uh but this i thought i hope was valuable if you haven't followed me on twitter to check out all of those screenshots yourself um please do it's just crypto lulu you can see all the links in the description Make sure you're moving your funds, your XRP, your, your keys at least, to, an, to a cold storage wallet. That's the first link in the description. If you want to get some XRP, consider using BitGet or BingX. Both links are, are below. They have different offers. You can get your XRP and move straight to cold storage after that as well. Uh, it's a wild time. Stay seated. Get your seatbelts on. And don't put your hands or legs outside the vehicle at any point because this rocket ship could be crazy. Stay emotionless and I'll see you in the next one.